What's up my friends, welcome back, you're watching Harv, video audio stuff, and today for you I'm checking out the Tenba Cinelax 21 shoulder bag for videography gear. I'm going to check if it's any good, see exactly what you can fit inside it, and see if it represents good value for money, or not. It's unsponsored, bought it with my own cash, so I'm going to be critical. It's time for me to shut up and roll the intro. <laughs> As ever, links to everything mentioned in this video I've popped in the description box below. And as I mentioned, this is not sponsored content, so your support means a lot. If you could hit the notification bell next to your subscribe button, it really means the world to me, plus you won't miss a video. So what is it? The Cinelux 21 is a pretty good sized shoulder bag for videography gear. It's been designed to be spacious and very customizable so that you can have basically full rig cameras in there and you can just lift it out and go. I've tried many bags from many different companies in the past, including Peak Design, Think Tank, Low Pro. In fact, I still own a couple of the Think Tank bags, but none of them have ever quite done exactly what I want them to. And here it is. There are lots of different versions of the Cinelux range. There's this shoulder bag type version. There's a roller style and a backpack version. Plus, size-wise, this is the 21. As I mentioned, they also do a smaller 16 and a larger 24 plus a high top version of this one, the 21. So there's lots to think about with what you need for your setup. My current rig is a Sony a7S III with a cage, handle, microphone, seven inch monitor, and usually some sort of big prime. Honestly, I think I could have squidged it into the 16, but I like a lot of space, so I went for the 21. It's worth mentioning that the Cinelux 21 does meet all of the international carry-on regulations, so for travel, it's gonna be great. But what about the features? The Cinelux 21 is a doctor's bag style design, so it pops open as wide as the bag itself, which means it's gonna be great for large rigs and different bits of gear. It has external pockets on either end and one across the front, which has lots of slots for your phone, passport, and that kind of thing. The shoulder strap is padded, comfortable, and has silicon dots so it doesn't slip around. It's worth acknowledging that it's a pretty big bag. It's 20.5 inches across, that's half a meter, so it's got girth and it's a bit unwieldy. Some might call it a chode of a bag. Not me, but some might. The interior of the Cinelux 21 is spacious and completely customizable. The material around the opening is a brilliantly chosen, slippery feeling waterproof style material that ensures when you close the bag, nothing gets snagged. Deeper into the interior, the walls and floor are made from the soft side of Velcro. It comes with two of these blue separators that tend to call flex core dividers. They're reinforced with aluminium and you can shape them in any way you like. It also comes with two of these lens separators, which you can have velcroed in this place and it gives it a bit more support underneath, or you can velcro them in this way, which obviously keeps the lenses more securely in place. There's a padded lens support for your rig, plus you get an attachment which lets you strap your rig in place. This of course is for when you're traveling with your gear and you want to keep it securely locked down. You also get two of these really nice wraps that you can use for other lenses or camera bodies or whatever you like. The interior is made from that same nice sort of slippery feeling waterproof material and obviously the outside is the soft side of Velcro once again. And to give you an idea, in one of these you can fit a full frame body with a 24-7 attached, no problem whatsoever. You also get a good pouch here which is just with a zip and I guess this is for things like batteries, memory cards, uh, microphones and that kind of thing. But what about the build quality? Well, the Cinelux 21 feels really ruggedly built. It has aluminium strips across the top, which is to protect your gear and helps to give it rigidity. The exterior material is water repellent ballistic nylon and it has a waterproof base. The zips are very ergonomic and feel great. It's a heavy bag. It's two and a half kilos completely empty or 3.3 kilos with all of those accessories that I just mentioned. Now that's loads for a bag, but I feel like it should be padded, chunky and up to the task of protecting your ludicrously expensive equipment. So what exactly can you fit in it? Well, as I mentioned, the standard way that I'm using this bag is with my Sony a7S III with a cage, handle, microphone, seven inch monitor and usually a large prime. It's actually too tall a rig to have stood up, so I actually lie it on its side in the bag. And then of course I slot my lenses and everything else around it. But I would say I can definitely see a much larger rig fitting in this bag. 
I can I can imagine something like a small cinema camera rig easily fitting. One thing I love is that you can fit a Manfrotto B3 Live video style tripod, travel tripod, in the bag itself which is just so cool. Personally, I can't stand having a tripod clipped outside my bag. It just feels a bit cumbersome and I just feel extra conspicuous, so I love that this fits snugly inside. When wearing the Cinelux 21, you can see that it does lean somewhat in the direction of the weight that you have in your bag. So it does feel a little bit cumbersome and I don't think I can give it full marks for comfort. Now I'm going to go through the pros and cons of the Cinelux 21 and I'm going to start with the pros because I'm a glass half full kind of guy. Let's do it. And firstly the pros and I think this is such a thoughtfully designed bag. There's obviously some really smart people at Tenber and they've done a really nice job. It is really ruggedly built and I just can't fault it on this point. It's also a really flexible design. You can basically have any kind of setup you like with this bag. This means if you've got multiple cameras, different bits of gear, you can customise the bag especially for each job you go on. It's a really spacious bag, I haven't come close to filling it yet, and I love that. I just love having extra space for whatever I need. The accessories you get I really love. The wraps, the pouches, all of the different combinations you can use with the interior of the bag. Again, I keep coming back to the word thoughtful with this bag design. And lastly, you can fit a Manfrotto B3 Live inside the bag, which for me is a bit of a revelation. Just such a cool thing, and it's been a game changer for me. And onto the cons, and firstly, it is a little bit cumbersome as a shoulder bag. It does tend to lean quite a bit in the direction of the weight that's in your bag. Secondly, it's heavy. There's no denying it. It's two and a half kilos when empty, 3.3 kilos with all the accessories, and you will notice this. Honestly, more lens dividers would have been really nice. You only get two, which may not be enough for some people. You can use the blue dividers to fashion places to put extra lenses, but that's not really what they're for. Lastly, I wonder if this bag could have somehow be converted into a backpack or roller style. I think it would have been possible to have attachable shoulder straps turning it into a backpack, or even another attachment turning it into a roller style bag. I'm sure Tenba had their reasons, but it got me thinking. And finally, to my opinion of the Tenber Cinelux 21, and in the intro, I asked three questions. Firstly, is it any good? Secondly, what can you fit in it? And thirdly, is it good value? Well, I think I've covered what you can fit in it. In fact, I think what's more of an issue is the fact that it becomes very heavy very quickly. I've been out a lot since I first got this bag, and each time, instead of thinking, what do I need for this shoot, I've been thinking, what can I possibly leave behind to make the bag lighter? And what do you think? Is, is that maybe a good thing for gearheads like us? I don't know. To answer my question of value, whilst I wouldn't say that the Cinelux range are cheap, I would say that they're excellent value for money when you consider the sheer value of gear that they're being charged to protect. You could very easily be walking around with five, ten, 20 grand's worth of gear on your shoulder. Next to that, a couple of hundred spent on a bag, it's nothing. And then to the question of, is it any good? And for me, yep. Despite it being a bit cumbersome to wear and being quite heavy, it's become my favorite bag for video gear, full stop. Tenba have done a fine job walking the line between rugged, convenient and elegant, and I just think the Cinelux range are great. But hey guys, I want to hear your recommendations for other alternatives for videography bags in the comment section below, please. That would be really helpful. And I just hope you found this interesting and helpful. I'm gonna be in the comment section as much as I can be as always. I've got a large archive of videos about videography on this channel, which YouTube has handpicked this video for you. And the one underneath is my most recent upload. Until next time, let's help each other out and shoot better video. See you guys. <laughs>